Hello again, it's Cliff here from Down Under. I'm going to do a short video on doing precision three jaw chuck work. The sort of things that can go wrong and how you can fix them, how you can do collet accuracy work in your three door, three door, three jaw chuck. All right, cheers. So when you're holding parts that need to be accurate in a three-jaw chuck, you can clock the chuck concentric this way by having a floating back plate, as I mentioned previously, with clearance on the uh, spigot diameter, and just nip the screws up and adjust it to get it concentric that way. Rotate it with a dial indicator on the top, find the highest point, tap down, and there you go, we're already within a hundredth of a millimetre. But if they're larger diameter parts and you're referencing off a back stop and you want extreme accuracy, you don't want the part in the chuck to be on an angle like that or like that. You want it to be concentric in two directions, this way and also axially concentric. Then you need to have a concentric back surface, stop surface. I'll show you how I do that in a second because if the back surface of the stop is on a slight angle it only needs to be a thou or two. When you put the part in because the diameter to length ratio is relatively similar it's very easy to have the part slightly on an angle. You can't rely on the jaws to hold the part axially in line or concentric that way. You have to have a back surface of the stop that's concentric so that you can slide the part in, ring it onto the back surface which is concentric and then nip, nip the chuck up with the marked jaw scroll key. And that way the part is true this way and that way. Okay, let's have a look at that stop. So inside there, you have got a reference stop that can be dialed in concentric. See there's four grub screws, four six millimeter grub screws, and they act on a, another uh, flange or another disc behind it. I'll show you a drawing of it in a minute. And so you put a dial indicator on the surface, rotate the chuck, and just tweak those grub screws until you get that flat stop surface perfectly concentric. And then you've got a nest for your parts that is concentric on the back face and on the diameter of the chuck. And it can then be a precision location device even better than many collets. Okay, well let's just have a look at a sketch of that adjustable stop face. So there's my long half inch spindle uh, adjustable stop rod and screwed on the end of it with a six millimeter cap screw is a uh, kind of a double bush or a double boss it's all one piece but a part down just short of parting it right off so there's about one millimeter wall left in there so this end part of the disc here is able to be adjusted perfectly concentric because what will happen if you don't have that and I found this out the hard way over the years, is that if you just rely on the accuracy of the long spindle stop, it'll be slightly off center and slightly on an angle. And what you'll be doing is referencing your parts slightly on an angle. It won't be corrected by the jaws when you tighten it up. It'll be racked slightly in the jaws. And when you machine your new uh, surfaces from the front, they'll all be on a slight angle relative to the back surface and you won't get precision parts. But this way, you could work to fractions of a thou. Tomark thoughtfully provide you with a little chuck key hanger in front of the door. Um, I actually put an aluminium insert over the top so that the chuck couldn't turn around 
and uh, jam in the door and also I could see it getting all gnarly and scratched and the paint all getting ripped to bits and it wouldn't look very good so I put a little aluminium insert over the top and that got me thinking well that would be a handy little thing to have on the mill uh, so I made another one up for my chuck keys when I'm doing chuck work on the mill um, and all it is is just a little plywood part that clamps on underneath can I get that focused in there just a little clamp plate and a wing nut underneath and I can slip it on one machine or the other if I'm doing that type of work. Thanks for watching guys, catch you later.